Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted. And look, well, I guess listen. There's audio. Yay. Uh, for some reason, the computer just wasn't detecting that mic was plugged in, so last episode there was no audio, but it's back now, and we made a lot of progress in this video. We got the repair characters done with Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy, and we also did the vent repair with Mangle and Ennard. We also explored some lore with the hidden tapes found all throughout the game, talking a little bit about Jeremy and this mysterious bunny character that I still have no clue who the heck it's supposed to be. Is it Shadow Bonnie? Is it Spring Bonnie? Is it an entirely new character? I have no clue, honestly. <laughs> I can't even take a guess. It's so different. But yeah, this episode is super, super fun. I had a really fun time recording it. And hopefully you guys enjoy. So we hope you're enjoying the Fazbear Virtual Experience. Please be aware that there may be visual artifacts left behind from the beta testing phase of development. Huh. If you see any such artifacts, we recommend that you not interact with them. We'll weed them out eventually. There's no guarantee that we'll weed them out eventually. <laughs> Alright, um, well I guess that's a smooth transition. So I might as well tell you guys what I did before I started recording. The tapes, right? I've heard about the tapes and I have started looking for them. There was one up there, which I used basketball to get down, and then there was one in here. I didn't know it then, but it turns out the thing that was in this gumball machine was also one. And so I just went ahead and find out how I could activate those tapes, and it's super easy. Right here. I have not listened to any of the tapes. I don't even know what you do beyond this point. Oh. Oh, this is all it is. Alright, so I only have three tapes, but we might as well give them... A listen. Tape one. Yeah? Can you hear me? Don't exit this room, okay? This isn't a mistake. This room isn't a mistake. I had to hide these logs away from the core gameplay files in a place that only a beta tester would look and in a place where the files could be protected. I just really, really hope that the next development team finds this before the game is released to the public. Too late, man. This game has some kind of malicious code in it that we haven't been able to fully contain. Is it the bunny? Or even understand for that matter. Is it the bunny? We're over budget and out of time. But that's not the reason that we're shutting down. Listen, I have to keep this short so the file size will be small enough to fly under the radar. Makes sense. There are more. They may not be in order. Why would they be in order? All right, mysterious lady. I saw it for the first time today. The bunny, maybe? There was a character I couldn't make out who it was standing at the end of the hall. I thought it was just bugged out, so I made a note of it and kept playing. But then it was looking in the window, and not like Chica or Bonnie would. It was like it was actually looking in the window, seeing what I was doing. I'm guessing this is the bunny. It makes, it really is the only thing I can think I of. I heard a pretty heated conversation this morning between Dale, our manager, oh, and God. someone new else. Oh, God. New characters, guys. New characters. It really feels like this project is in trouble. In no small part because of the lawsuit, I'm sure. What? There has to be a lawsuit. There's no way there isn't. It happened in this building just a few doors down from me. I think it's made worse by the fact <gasps> that Jeremy tried to tell us something was wrong. Jeremy! But as a Don't forget team, Jeremy! We all just saw it as a challenge to find what the problem was and fix it. Who could have known that? I have to go. Boys, that confirms... You know, the teasers back when this game wasn't released yet. They would, the teasers hit a code, but not a code, a message saying, remember Jeremy. We finally know what that is. Of course, I don't know what Jeremy's play in this is, but hey, at least we have mention of him. Alright, so at first I thought I was going to start off with FNAF 2, but then I thought I'd go a bit out of the way, and I wanted to do parts and service, because this was the whole hype around the game, repairing the characters, so I thought I might as well do it. Starting off with Bonnie this time. Grab an Elise, pull the trigger, yep. Push buttons and make repairs. Alright, boys, I'm super excited for this. Finally get to be really up close Welcome and personal. Back to parts and service. Oh no, it looks like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. That's what First, I thought. Bonnie must access Bonnie. his harmonization module located inside no. his secondary throat pipe. To access the throat pipe, 
Both eyes must first be removed. You must be as precise as possible. I don't like this. Removing the eyes from their respective sockets. First, firmly grip Bonnie's left eye and carefully remove it from its socket. All right, so it said Bonnie's left eye. So for me, that's his right eye. I didn't know we were going to be this close, and I really, really don't like this. All right. Oh my god, I can't do it. Great job. Oh my Deposit god. the left eye in the cleaning receptacle on your left. My left. Well done. Now, firmly grip Bonnie's right eye and carefully remove it from its socket. All right, Bonnie. Listen here, lad. I'm being nice and gentle with you. Deposit the right nice. eye in the cleaning receptacle on your right. Good job. To open Bonnie's faceplate, carefully no, place no, 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 the no. two buttons located on either side of Bonnie's jaw. When done correctly, <laughs> you should hear two small clicks. I'm still sick, boys. All right. Um, Bonnie. <laughs> Buddy. Best friend pal. Well done. <sighs> you have access to Bonnie's harmonization module. Press the blinking button inside Bonnie's secondary throat pipe to enter Bye. calibration mode. Do we have to? I'm just gonna stand here a bit. This is a good thumbnail for the shot right here, boys. Oh, nice. All right, let's get that. Blue, green, red, yellow, orange. Something is not Blue, right. Green, red, yellow, One orange. of those notes is out of tune. You may push the button again to replay the audio check. Press the colored button that corresponds to the incorrect note. Bro, I'm not a music music musician. Ah, that that's that's yellow. I I all right. Press the blinking button again to verify your work. All right, good idea, smart idea. Great job. Bonnie is in tune and ready for his solo. Good job, pal. Let's close him up. Simply replace both eyes in the same order that you removed them, then close up the faceplate, and we'll call it a day. In the same order you removed them. So that's this eye, which is the left one, and then the right eye, which is this one, and then close up his faceplates. Well done. That concludes your parts and services task. See you next time. That wasn't bad at all. Oh, I forgot about the gifts. Yeah! I got a Bonnie bar. Bonnie bites. Something, something. Nice, delicious. Thanks, Bonnie, for them Bonnie bites. All right, am I gonna see the bunny? No? Alright, I don't like how he just disappears like that. Next up, Chica. So Chica is the one with all the rodents on her. <coughs> I'm ready. Um, yes. Same controls as last time. Ah, uh, how close am I gonna be? Welcome back to too close! Service. Way too close! There Way too close! There complaints about Chica's acrid smell. Sounds like Chica has been rummaging around the kitchen again. Remove you silly all food particles chicken. from Chica's exterior and place it in the refuse bin on your right. Oh look, it's a little... It's a toy Chica plushie. We've never seen one of those. What? Whoa, we got them on the pizza? It's... Guys, it's another thing. Alright, so that's another tape we gotta listen to. Chica, oh, you've got it in your knee, hun. You want a cupcake? That's not supposed to happen. I didn't listen to what he was gonna say. Alright. I guess I... I guess I removed the I don't remove the pizzas. Alright, alright. Yes, yes, Freddy, I... I... Alright, something here has gone wrong. My hands are above me. What is happening? Alright, I fixed it. Now I'm actually gonna listen to what Pandudid has to say. So I don't die like last time, because that was horrible. Welcome back to Parts and Service. There have been customer complaints about Chica's acrid smell. Sounds like Chica has been rummaging around the kitchen again. Can't eat that. Remove all food particles from Chica's exterior and place it in the refuse bin on your right. 
Alright, so I almost had it, but not quite. Alright, thank you. Easy. No, you got them on your face. Good job. Make sure Chica is not hiding any other treats inside her beak. To open her beak, How about no? carefully press the two buttons located on the sides of Chica's head. Alright then. I'm just gonna reach around your head. Say ah. Uh, oh no. It looks like Chica You has said ah uh, way too much. Friends. To clear the infestation, apply the Fazbear Entertainment restaurant grade chemi spray to Chica's exterior. Press the button under the hanging canister to activate the chemi spray. So this we saw in the first ever trailer. Avoid inhaling the chemi spray. <gasps> Exposure to cleaning, disinfecting, and maintenance chemicals may result in respiratory problems, skin, or eye irritation. Good job. <sighs> now reattach Chica's upper arm, hand, and cupcake plate. Upper arm? Oh, it's got pests on it as well. Right, let's just, oh, I meant to grab it with the other hand. Well, that is, um, I don't goof a bit there, boys, but it's fine. It's fine. Follow instructions. I tried to wrap it around so I wouldn't have to grab it at an awkward angle. There have been customer com Upper arm hand cupcake plate. Gotcha. This is a big arm. Oh, that was easier than I thought. Well done. Oh no, it looks like Chica needs another dose of the chemi spray. Hi. <laughs> Do not let the infestation spread. Be sure to give the canister button another push as needed. I got you, hand unit. Why is it dark? Oh my god! To Chica's plate. This is just like Bonnet from Sis Location. Do you need some help, buddy? Return the cupcake to Chica's plate. How? It's moving all around. Ah, ah. Return the cupcake to Chica's plate. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Great job. Oh my god. Chica is ready to serve pizza and hugs to the kids again. Hi, Cole. Take a complimentary slice of pizza for a job well done. Oh. Delicious. You want a piece? See you next time. Hi, Chica. It was fun seeing you, to call. Alright. That was awesome. I'm really far back. Oh, hello. Am I gonna get her lemon bar? What? That was not a prize? Plus trap, what the heck? Alright, so before I forget, I'm going to listen to that tape we found. Because I have a feeling I'm gonna forget by the end of the video. Um, tape number four. Remember guys, these are not all in order. Have you ever heard of a guillotine <coughs> paper slicer? It sounds made up but it's an actual piece of office equipment. I didn't even know we had one in the Freddy. supply room. I guess the well, more common going, are businesses Freddy? that do a lot of graphic design work. I remember seeing one when I was still in school, and even then, <coughs> I knew how dangerous it looked. I was oh always God. afraid of losing a finger. What? That seems so silly now. Jeremy used to do design work. Hmm. I guess that's how he knew it was there. I keep looking up over here, that's because of the test. The text moves when I move my head, so I just get into a big open field. I know for you guys it's at the bottom of the screen, but it makes it easier for me to see. Alright. You are closer? Is he closer? Is that just me, or is he closer? Ah, uh, that's not the right way. Alright, next repair. Yeah, no, he's, he's closer. Next repair, we have Freddy. Ooh, it looks like we're gonna end with Foxy. That's gonna be interesting. So I've seen Freddy... I've seen Freddy in the new launch trailer, so I know what he does. Um, Welcome back to Parts and Service. It looks like one of our guests left a personal item on our guest. star be attraction. Your guest. Let's return it to the lost and found. Carefully, grab and remove the child's hat from Freddy's mouth. Are you kidding me? You want me to reach my hand into that guy's mouth? Freddy's got a pretty good hold of it. Yes, he Get does. Another firm tug. I don't like you, hand unit. Good job. Ah! I thought I wouldn't grab it. Come on. You can't, you can't do that. All right, whatever. Now hiring. Inquire within. 
awesome. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Freddy's got a pretty good hold. Good job. Now place the Thanks, buddy. in the lost and found bin on your right. This is a lost and found bin? While we're at it, let's make sure there isn't anything else stuck inside. To access Freddy's chest cavity, grab Freddy's bow tie and pull it outwards. You've got to be kidding me. Well done. Freddy's chest cavity is There's a watch and a open. shoe. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. You've got to be kidding me. You've actually got to be kidding me. Ah! Uh, Alright. Good job. It appears there is a child's shoe I can't grab behind that. Freddy's music box. The music box must be removed before you can access the child's shoe. That's Gently grasp the music box and extract it from Freddy's chest cavity <laughs> before the safety latch descends. Firmly grasp it. Is that the music box? Carefully place the music box on the work table to your left. Great job. To I hear the static the from the first latch, game. Press the button located on Freddy's endoskeleton. I like how they upgraded the endoskeleton. Now, remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. Gotcha. Oh. Alright. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, okay, got it. Well done. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity and we'll call it a day. You mean the broken old one? Oh. No! You seem to have mishandled Freddy's music box. I didn't! It was an accident, Freddy! Good. A replacement may be found on the uh, work table. Uh, A slow and even pace is recommended. You want one of these? You want one of these, Freddy? Slow and even. 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 I've got you, Freddy. I've got you. I've got you. I've got you. I apparently don't got you. What? 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 <laughs> Follow instructions. Um, I did. Thank you very much. I don't get it. I was going slow. Go. 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 Crisis Thank you. Averted. To close Freddy's chest I didn't know I had to release press the, the large black button on the center of Freddy's face. You mean his nose? That concludes your time <laughs> in parts and service. Your pay will be docked accordingly. Awesome. I love that. Yay! I didn't know I had to release the button. All the other times it just put it in for you. So now that I've seen Plus Trap, I want to be a lot more cautious. I got a figure! Oh, look at how cool that is. That's awesome. I'm gonna throw it on the ground. And lose it. I'm gonna throw it on the ground and lose it. Alright then. Um, so now I've got a figure. I don't think we got another cape. Uh, at least I didn't see one. So the final one, Foxy. This apparently is the hardest one, seeing as it is the last one. Alright, same controls. Let's get it. Let's get it. Final one, final one, final one. Welcome back to parts of I don't like this. Foxy has been out of commission for quite some time. This series of simple repairs I should C1. return him to full working condition. First, carefully pick up and place Foxy's head on his endoskeleton. Bro, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh no. It looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended whoa, that you whoa, keep whoa, an eye whoa, on Foxy hey, at all times. You will need to place new control fuses in the exposed receptacles to continue. Retrieve the go. fuse from drawer number one that matches Foxy's leg receptacle. To avoid bodily harm, wait for Foxy's legs to stop moving before inserting the control fuse. Makes sense. So that one's got a green and a red, and it looks like it's this one. Good job. Hey, Foxy careful there. Regained control of his legs. Good job, a man. Reminder: It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. I got you. 
Oh no. It looks like a former employee attempted to repair Foxy's chest motor using an incorrect insane. fuse. Carefully, remove the incorrect fuse from Foxy's chest and insert it into Foxy's upper arm receptacle. You want me to reach into his chest? Now I need to put it in his arm? Well done. The remaining chest fuses are located in drawers number two and number four. Fix both fuses to continue. This looks insane. Alright, so it looks like we got a... We got two blues, a red, and a green. Looks like it's this one. Oh, no, 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 no. It's this one. I see a little red in there. I'm gonna wait for him to calm down. And I just pop that in. And all I need now is the one in drawer four, it said. So it looks like that's a red, blue, and a green. Hello. Again, this looks incredible. Back here. Calm down, calm down, calm down. It's gonna be okay. Good job. I got you. Retrieve Foxy's eye from drawer number three. When Foxy's eye patch is fully open, place the eye back into his eye socket. Alright, uh, so he fucks his hazel eyes. Um, so it's this one. Well done. You look this concludes splendid. All your parts and service tasks. Pirate Cove can now be reopened. <gasps> Foxy's back in order! After nearly five years, he's been out of order. Whoa, look at this giant Toy Freddy plush. That's awesome. I got two. <laughs> Alright, is he gonna be there? Oh, oh, he's a lot closer now. Right, he's gone. Just to close it out, because I'm kind of interested. I've seen this in, like, all the trailers and everything. I want to try the AO Ducks. Alright, hold grab things, push buttons. This, I, I just want to try it out. Just want to try it out. Oh, no. Too bad. This is way too bad. What do I do? Welcome to Vet Repair. <laughs> Fazbear Entertainment prides itself on having the most comfortable facilities. Oh, yeah. This facility is set to a perfect 72 degrees all the time. The four active indicator lights mean we have a well-functioning ventilation system. That's good. Your headlamp should protect you from any critters who may have stumbled into the ducts. Like Mangle. As a certified vent technician, you should need no instruction. Of course. However, in case of an emergency, it is important to remember that as the vent technician, you should never, under any circumstances, attempt to... Attempt to what? Attempt to... Attempt to what? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Are you kidding me? Oh, I found something. I heard that. What do I- what? I hear that. What do I do? It doesn't- What do I do? Oh. Alright, so that's halfway there. Oh my god, I- you can just barely see them. I don't like that. Where? Where? Down here. What'd that do? I hear you, Mangle.
かわいいかわいいかわいいわあ、oh my god, you can't just do that! Red, orange, red, blue. What? Red, orange, red. What? Green, orange, red, blue. Okay, good. I still don't trust this. I still don't trust this. A perfect 72 degrees. Good job. See you next time. That's it? Okay. So is the next level just harder? It's a candy bar. It's one of Chica's candy bars. Awesome. Lemon Chica bar. I'm cool with that. Alright, um... I'm gonna do... Ennard! Oh no! Alright, I'm gonna do this final vent repair, and then we'll stop. Sorry, I just get so into this game, it's crazy. I love it so much. Then again, that does mean more editing for me, so... Oh, are you kidding me? Well, luckily, I still only have three sides. Welcome to Circus Baby's Entertainment <gasps> and Rental. We're here! It has We're been back! days since last incident. <laughs> Emergency ventilation repairs may be necessary to reach the boiler room on sub-basement G. You gotta be kidding. We apologize for the claustrophobic accommodation <laughs> of the secondary <laughs> service elevator, but the comfort of the main elevator is well above your pay grade. Now, let's get to work. Hey, we got the music back. It's great to have Andy back at his roots. Motion trigger. <gasps> Breaker room. Who are you? You're not the voice. At least I don't remember you being the voice. See him. Oh my god, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I don't like the Oh my god, he's on the ceiling. What the heck? What? What? No. No. Huh? Oh my god! I just have to stare at him long enough? What? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? What do I do? I don't get it. Is he just here to scare you? I... Oh my god! Oh my god! What do I do? Oh, great. Ho. Oh. Ho. Oh. Ho. Oh. Ho. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. I don't. 
I don't get how I fend him off. Well done. I literally just guessed, boys. No! No, no, no! No, no, no! Oh my... Jeez. He had claws! No, 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 no. Okay, I'm going down. Wait, I'm going down? Why am I going down? Should I go up? I don't have another task, do I? No. What is that? Where... Where am I? I feel like I'm in a clock. Is this how elevators work? Why am I down here? I have another task. You've gotta be kidding me. No! No, 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 no. Motion no. trigger. Secondary service elevator ventilation shaft. What? Hi. Okay. Hi! Oh my god. Hello! What? What? What am I supposed to do? I swear to God, if I have to go through that beginning bit, why would I not? Welcome. Motion trigger. Secondary service elevator ventilation shaft. How how do I get another piece? Oh, that's not where it goes. Is that not what I'm supposed to do? can't get another piece. Oh. I don't get it! It doesn't tell you what you're supposed to do and that's so annoying. like, it isn't giving me another gear, so I'm guessing that this is wrong. But it's right. Oh, I need another one. Well, I've just lost it, so... Yeah, I need a new gear. Oh, it's right here. So then, like, what do I do now? I need another gear. But there's not one. Oh, cool. I was so, so close. I just pulled out the wrong one in the wrong time. I also don't know if I have to look at him or if I have to like shine my light and then look away. So I'm just kind of trying to ignore Welcome him. Welcome to Circus Bay. Well done. Yes, 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 yes. I should not be celebrating as much because of, when you think about it, 
It did make sense. I'm just kind of stupid. So, uh, where am I going to now? Am I free? I feel like I'm not free, but then again, if there's a third trial, then I hate everyone. Are you kidding me? Really? A third one? Oh my god, what? Oh, they open from the top or the bottom, I guess. Motion trigger. Boiler room. Boiler room? Bro, are you expect me to do a boiler room? Oh. Oh my god, I love games like this. Wait. Well done. Wait, what about Ford? Ford didn't do anything. Is it supposed to do something? I also don't like how it's pitch black aside from the fire. This isn't really that bad. I'm expecting something a lot more chaotic. What's behind door number three? Hello? Um. Hello? What? What? Well done. Perfect. Seven what? Degrees. See you next time. Did I just blow up Ennard? What? Wait. What? I feel like I just blew up Ennard. I got some meat fights. Extra large. Awesome. Distracting me from what really matters. I think I just blew up Ennard. Using proprietary technology developed by Fazbear Entertainment, our VR development teams were able to use vintage control boards, almost like plug and play, digitally recreating performances and personalities from the past in an instant. I feel like, oh, I don't know, did I get any more things? Let me look. I don't think I did. And after this, I'm gonna, oh my god, I got loads, five and six? The drawers have been emptied out. Someone was here. I don't think it was spring cleaning either. No. There was plastic on the floor. Someone oh. was definitely here during the night. It had to have been the client. I mean, they sent us that stuff in the first place with no explanation. Told us to scan it. Said it would expedite the process so we wouldn't need to program any pathfinding ourselves. It was a budget thing, I guess. It was just junk. Circuit boards and things like that. Look pretty old. Somehow, though, there was usable code on some of it. It seemed to take hold by itself. Things started changing. But then, he started appearing. At least that's what Jeremy said. Things started appearing. These kind of sound like the, um, illusion discs that are used in, um, uh, the Twisted Ones. I came in early that morning. No one else was there. At least that's what I thought. The supply room was lit. Huh, I didn't lit. even notice Jeremy standing in the testing room as I walked past. Lit. The supply room was so bright. Glowing from all the way down the hall. That's it? I mean, that's gotta mean something. But that's it? Five and six? You're getting way too close to my liking, bro. You're just gonna back, you're gonna back up, right? Also, boys, I'm gonna have to go off screen for this, but, um, yeah, you can actually go through the curtain back here. I do have a big enough room to be able to do that. I am gonna have to go off screen, but it's gonna be worth it. Trust me, it's very interesting. 
Look, you can see all the gang. You got Chica, Freddy, and Bonnie all waiting here for their show. So that was episode two of Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And thank everyone so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next episode. That's not my outro. On the flip side, goodbye. Been doing that for nearly two years and I still still get it wrong.